there. Pika <clears throat> Ness. I was telling him he's just got to he's got to watch out for F airs. He gets caught by F airs and up airs a lot. Yeah, he's he's. I mean, Fire is pretty aggressive, and he's a little bit reckless with his double jumps. Yes. Uh, which is how I was about to beat him. Like he, I would wait for it and up B, and uh, it would catch him. So Bar could do something very similar with up tilts and up air, and just catch him in that double jump. And then he's a super easy edge guard for Pikachu. Yeah, and Bark, yeah, and look, he's got no double jump there. And, and oh, and uh, Bark no. lets him land, and that's a rare kind of Yeah, fast, like fastball in the air, uh, probably would have picked it up. And Fyro couldn't do anything. Uh, yeah. Bark at that percent, so he had to try and get another down air and, re -gra and grab. Yeah, and usually he's very good if he gets you caught on those platforms. Look, no oh. double jump there, but he, he manages to land. Oh, That's, wow. All right, Fyro's going to do that, like, every time. Yeah. If, if someone jumps out to contest him like that, he's going to throw out the down air because why not? Right, but he's got to be careful. Look, he's already on the edge. Oh, and that's very nice. He was in a tricky spot. And that's another kind of, like, see, he floats at DJC Nair. And that's what you're talking about. He's very reckless with it where he was in a safe situation, but he just follows up. He's so aggressive. But that's how he likes to play the game. <clears throat> Bark's not going to fall for... Uh, for tricks more than once though so yeah I mean he's they've played a bunch of times like throughout you know yeah the last year or so and you see just a simple F throw and Bark's able to he's not scared he just floats out there and puts out the nair when it's time yeah I mean that's really all it takes but uh, getting a grab on Fyro's nest is not something simple it's like even there where it seemed guaranteed like yeah. that's it's it's tough to grab his nest. No, he's very good at avoiding the grab, especially in neutral. But the way that Bark's going to get grabs is by kind of landing, you know, an F air, an up air, mm -hmm. a down air like that. And oh, that's very good spacing. He yeah. uses, he threatens with that down tilt. And so Fyro has to sort of use his DJC to go up and around. And then he uses that rising up air to protect himself with that tail. Perfectly spaced uh, by Fyro. He just kind of pivots away, gets a grab. Bark just goes in with a down air and misses. Yeah, and that's going to be it. So Fyro, you know, he gets caught by that F air, and that F air sets up that whole edge guard situation. And then, of course, Bark's positioning forces Fyro to miss that up B. Fyro acting like he's going to switch to polygon. <laughs> yeah, he always switches colors uh, between so it, games. It, uh, it actually, Josh did win the first game. Uh, I know it says Fyro won. Oh. And that's a great uh, up B escape. The timing is not easy on that, especially with Fyro. With Fyro's timing is uh, very good. His reaction time is very good as well. And yeah, Ness, Ness has great traps on the side platforms, but the top one's bigger. <clears throat> so we're going to up the game audio there for you guys a bit. Yeah, Ness really does have some great platform traps. and. Fyro did a great job of finishing him off with that uh, that up smash for the first stock. Oh, and there's a second stock where maybe Bark gets just a little too greedy looking for the uh, to finish that stock off. And Fyro will get a couple of those, but you can't expect that to happen a lot. He's gonna have to you know lock it down and really play safe. Oh yeah, and that's a a great edge guard versus Ness because then you can just force. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of players would get tripped up by Wispy there because they're just sitting there waiting for the edge guard and they don't realize they get blown off the edge and end up like doing an air or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Bark just, you know, he notices it, backs up. Um, easy. I'm always so scared of Wispy when I'm waiting for an edge guard like that. I keep looking back and like, is it coming? Is it coming? <laughs> yeah, looking at his face and waiting for those leaves. And that's another, ooh, that nair, he's got to be careful. Oh, and Bark's so aggressive, dropping that Nair in. Fyro just escapes. Yeah, he, Fyro wasn't, he got that down there and he wasn't confident that he would have enough time to get a grab. Yeah, and I don't think he did. I think he realized about how much time he had, and once he realized he didn't have it, he followed up with the down air. And a great job. You got to credit Bark's DI for making sure he doesn't land on the platform. Oh, yeah. It, if you're getting down aired on the side of the plaid, you got to get off of there. Whether and it's against Ness or Samus or whoever. Yeah, and Bark may not have a very strong VI, but you can see situationally he knew where to go. And we've seen that a lot. He's been uh, spiked to the bottom of Dreamland and not landing on those plats a lot. Oh, and that one won't trade for Fyro. I was trying to recover it. 
but Mark doing a smart thing, going down low, but Pyro goes all the way down there, baits him down, and this time it doesn't matter. Yeah. But Pyro still has a chance to uh, take a game here and get a quick stock. And, and we are finally into best of five territory. Yeah, okay, good, good. Because I would like to see a bit more of this. This is a fun matchup to watch. I'm always a little disappointed when Division 1 is best of three. But yeah, sometimes you got to do it. Yeah, go, last in, stock. in the interest go. of time, and yeah, so here we go. Uh, and that's uh, that's big. He gets caught with that. That'll probably be it here. Yeah. Let's see. He's gonna have a chance. Or, no. uh, okay. A rare miss with the up B from Pyro. Usually he's he's not that off, you know. Yeah. He has, he has some crazy angles. Uh, he's he's the best that I've ever seen in using Ness's up B. Um, have you seen Daniel? He recovered in between the towers on Saffron. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just sort of hit yourself downward and you still pop yeah, up there? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like a weird it's angle a you have to hit. All right, so. Yeah, fire is very good. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Bark is up 2-0 here. And, you know, that last game ended, that last stock that uh, Bark Sanchez took, it, it was really sort of. Uh, from invincibility. So Fyro just couldn't escape invincibility. Bark lands a back air, and once he lands a hit on shield, he's going to take that stock off of the nest. He's too good of a player. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've seen Fyro, aside from reversing an edge guard situation, recover safely once, have we? Oh, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like it. Um, yeah, I, I don't. Maybe like in the beginning of the first game, I think he got back uh, one or two times, but it's it's tough. And that's why you saw him go, go high that last time, just because going low has not worked like ever. And By going high, you kind of force the other player to uh, hit you a couple times. Yeah, and maybe at low percentage, he gets hit on to uh, toward the stage or something. But yeah, maybe he messes up. Yeah, and that up tilt on shield isn't safe. After Definitely that, not. That nair. And Bark knew it. Bark jumps out of the way, gives a little respect to fire there. Oh. So Def sometimes you recover, like you get back on the stage, but you don't, you can't do anything. Yeah. So it's not really much of a recovery. And Fyro is going for the pop up there. He tried to up B to the bottom of Dreamland, so he like would rise up. Yeah. Uh, he just missed though. He's a little too far away. He's gonna need to sweet spot or get those angles where he sort of lands with no lag. Oh. Just late with the downer. Fyro tried recovering. Bark hits him with a down tilt. Yeah, I think Pika's hurt box was like low. It, that, that down tilt really sort of protects him or something. God, it looked really funky, didn't it? That was. A, I wonder what he's going for with that down smash. Oh. Oh. Did he just wait on purpose to cast a quick attack? I don't know. I'd say he did. And it looks like he missed the shield grab after that uh, shielded getup attack. Or shielding the getup attack, rather. He's actually really good at that. Uh, timing the those grabs. Like, he knows that attack is coming. He just shields it and then grabs. Yeah. He got my DK twice by just shielding the first hit of up B. Oh. So we got 3-0 from Josh. Yeah, and that last game goes a lot quicker than that.